Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmic. In our last video, we created our bullet prefab and then created a script which spawned the bullet at the end of the cannon. The link to that video will be on screen and in the description below. Just a quick reminder, the end result of this series will look something like this, where you can move left and right with animations, you can jump, you can also aim the cannon up and down, as well as shooting the bullets in the direction of the cannon. Also, when the bullets come in contact with the ground, they explode. The animation was created by another member of the team. In today's video, we're going to be creating two scripts. One that fires the bullet in the direction of the cannon, and another script which destroys the object when it either comes in contact with the ground or it goes out of the camera view. The difficulty of today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. Before we start, the assets that we will be using in today's video will be available to download for free. The link will be in the description below. So to get started, what I'm going to do is select our spawn point object and then add a box collider to the object. So add component, physics 2D, box collider. I'm then going to turn it into a trigger collider by setting is trigger to true. When an object is a trigger, objects no longer collide with it. Instead, they just pass through it, which can be detected with code. So before we create our C-sharp script, I'm going to change the rotation of our spawn point object so the X direction is roughly pointing in the direction of the cannon. So I'm going to zoom in here, select our spawn point, then in the top left corner, I'm going to use our move tool. So we can see our X direction, which is the red arrow here. And then I'm going to rotate in the uh, inspector the Z axis so it's roughly pointing in the direction of the cannon. So I'm going to go into our scripts folder and then right click then go to create and C sharp script and I'm going to call this bullet underscore fire and then I'm going to open it up. So I'm just going to get rid of all this. So just like our jump script, we're going to create a public float. And I'm going to call this bullet force. And that's going to equal 750.0F. So instead of accessing our fixed update, we're going to be accessing the on trigger enter 2D function. So void and on trigger enter 2D. Then we'll create some brackets and inside that bracket, we're going to type collider 2D and we're going to call this target. So I'm going to create an if statement which targets a specific group of game objects. So if brackets target so we're going to be targeting our collider 2d dot game object dot tag and if that tag is equal to quotations fire point we're going to get component and that component is our rigid body 2d brackets dot add force and the direction of that force is going to be our x direction so transform dot right and we're going to times that force by our bullet force so that's pretty much it for our fire script so if we're going to, so i'm going to save that so control s and then i'm going to go back to unity and instead of applying that to our tank we're going to apply it to our bullet prefab so i'm going to go to assets prefabs and I'm going to drag our bullet prefab into our scene. So I'm going to go back to our scripts folder and then click and drag our bullet fire script onto our bullet prefab. So I'm going to select our bullet prefab and what we need to do is apply the changes we've made to it to our bullet prefab in our assets folder. So I'm going to go to the top of the inspector and click apply. So we don't need our bullet prefab anymore so I'm going to delete that. And if we go to our prefab folder and select our bullet prefab, you'll see that we now have our bullet fire script on there. 
So the last thing we've got to do is uh, create our fire point tag and then apply it to our spawn point. So if we click the drop down menu at the top of the inspector next to tag and then go to add tag, we need to add our fire point tag. So I'm going to type fire point. Then we select our spawn point again and then we apply our tag. So I'm going to run the game. And now if we press our fire button, the bullets now fire off into the distance. So as you can see, the bullets that we've shot are still in our hierarchy, and we don't want that. So I'm going to create another script which destroys the bullets when they come in contact with the ground or when they go out of the camera view. So I'm going to come out of this and then go to our scripts folder. And I'm going to right click, go to create and C sharp script. And I'm going to call this bullet underscore destroy. So I'm going to open that up and get rid of all this. And what we're going to do is create something similar to our ground check. So I'm going to create a public transform. And I'm going to call that bullet. And then I'm going to create a public float. And call it collision radius. And that's going to equal 0.4f. Then I'm going to create a public bool, and that's going to be called collided, and that's going to be set to false. And finally, we're going to create a public layer mask, and that's going to be called what to collide with. So I'm going to access the fixed update function, so void fixed update brackets curly brackets so just like our jump script we've got to set the conditions in which the public bool that we created uh, is set to true so collided is equal to physics 2d dot overlap circle and open brackets then bullet dot position comma collision radius and finally what to collide with and finally we've got to create an if statement for what happens when collided is equal to true so if brackets collided we want to destroy with a capital D brackets and we want to destroy the game object so when the bullet comes in contact with the ground uh, we are going to destroy that game object so I'm going to create another if statement for when the bullet goes out of the camera view. So if brackets not get component and we want to access the renderer brackets dot is visible. We're also going to destroy the object game object. So what this does, it checks to see if our jelly bean sprite is visible in the camera view and if it's not it will then destroy the game object so that's all we've got to do for our bullet destroy script so if we save that with control s then go back to unity and again we've got to apply this to our bullet prefab so i'm going to go to our prefabs folder and drag a bullet into our scene and then go back to our scripts folder and then click and drag our bullet destroy script onto our bullet prefab. So first we've got to access our bullet prefab's transform component. So I'm going to click and drag our bullet prefab in our hierarchy to our bullet transform. And then select what we want to collide with. So I'm going to select our ground layer. And then we just got to apply our changes. So I'm going to delete our bullet prefab and then go to our prefab folder select our bullet and now we have our bullet destroy script on our prefab so if we run the game and then keep an eye on our hierarchy when i press the fire button you'll notice that when the bullet goes out of the camera view the bullet is then destroyed also when the bullet comes in contact with the ground you'll also notice that the bullet gets destroyed so that's pretty much it for today's video feel free to tune back next time where we'll be building our tank prefab if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching.
Thank you.